I'll work there as often as possible. Um, you know, great to have you guys here. So a couple quick things. As I was actually just saying uh, about a half an hour ago, I think what we talk about our team a lot too is how literally there's just never been a group of people with a set of skills that have greater capacity to touch more people's lives than engineers today. Uh, and that is both a huge opportunity but also I think a really significant responsibility. And so it's not just that we have power, but the question is what are we gonna deploy that power to do? How are we gonna use those skills and those tools to enact the kind of change that we wanna see? And so for us, I think the way we see our role in the world is we live at these two really major historic intersections. One is this trend of the increasing sort of inability of everyday people to have voice in their own government, this disenfranchisement and frustration about people's lack of impact in politics and simultaneously the increase in technology's ability to enable people to mobilize more rapidly than ever before. And when you look at sort of the intersection of those two trends, what we see is this incredible emergent behavior uh, using tools like what we're building uh, that truly transform what people are engaging in today. And the one example I'll give, which is thinking as I walked over here, um, some of the more powerful, potent examples that happened this last year is not just in the US, but actually around the world. Uh, and the campaign that was most probably emotional for me was actually this woman named Lakshmi. In, uh, in India who was subject to an acid attack, which is actually quite common, uh, where women will be proposed to and will say no, and the man in response to that will actually throw acid on her face to disfigure her so she cannot get married to anybody else. This literally happens on a fairly regular basis. Happened to this young woman, age 15, Lakshmi, uh, a few years ago. She'd been then after that, heroically campaigning to try to change this, uh, to try to get a restriction on the sale of acid most commonly used for these attacks. Uh, and she, after unsuccessfully mobilizing offline historically, decides she sees change.org, we have a team there, we start taking off. She starts a petition, gets I think tens of thousands of people to join in three days, goes offline, delivers a campaign in front of the government office responsible for this, and then gets this massive media exposure, embarrasses the government, and only a couple days after that, after just decades of ignoring the issue entirely, the government immediately restricts the sale of asset across the entire country. Um, and it's an amazing story both intrinsically in what it did, but actually what's most exciting is when we see these examples, they have this huge viral effect of inspiring other people to start similar campaigns. And we literally see these things, like they seem extraordinary to people who don't know about the company very much, but they're actually quite ordinary since they happen literally more than a dozen times a day. Uh, and so for us, what I would impress upon anyone, not so much just about what we're doing, we're not the exclusive, sort of, we don't have a monopoly around doing important things in the world, but when you're thinking about how to deploy really remarkably rare skills that give you capacity for rare impact compared to almost any generation before us, I think thinking about how you use your skills to create the change you want to see is one of the most important things you can do. And so I want to thank you for being here. If you have any questions also about that in general, I always am happy to sort of respond to questions about just both what we're doing at change.org and the sort of team we're building, but also the broader ecosystem of both for-profits for social impact like we are, or non-profits doing social impact like we know very well. And so email me at any point in time, Ben at change.org. I'm happy to respond to those questions. But thanks for being here. Thank you.